Hi, it's Paul Becker from trulyhuge.com. Today I want to talk about Mike Menser and heavy duty training. I first started working out in 1978. Um, that's the same year Mike Menser won the Mr. Universe. He had a lot of coverage in uh, Joe Weider's Muscle Builder Power, which soon after that became Muscle and Fitness. But I really didn't get that interested until about a year later I was at the gym and the manager of the gym and I were talking after my workout and he said you know I think Scott got this all figured out I said no tell me and he said Mike Menser I said okay why why do you think so He said all these other guys are doing 20 sets per body part Mike's doing five sets per body part and he's growing faster than then he takes the magazine and rips out the um, order form for the heavy duty book and gives it to me. So I sent in for it not too long after that. Um, it arrived, as I remember, early December 1979. I have uh, the same copy here. I've had it for the last for the last 33 years. It's not in bad shape for being that old. I'll show you another thing. Mike signed it for me. It was very nice of him to do that. And it says, if you can read it, to Paul, train hard and good luck with heavy duty. Mike Menser, Mr. Universe 1978. So I studied this booklet and uh, started training. I think I didn't start until just to be in the beginning of 1980. And I don't think I was doing it exactly right in the beginning, but at least um, I wasn't doing 10 or 15 sets per body part. I <clears throat> brought it down to maybe 6 to 9 and uh, definitely made some good progress. I've tried um, all kinds of different forms of this training. Um, I followed Mike. So articles and read all his books over the years. I corresponded with him by first by mail um, and then later by telephone. And then in 1999 I was living in California and I went and uh, had Mike train me for a few sessions. I actually have here the, the routine he wrote for me um, to follow. This is in Mike's handwriting from uh, 1999. So um, I wanted to make some comments on the differences uh, over the years of how Mike recommended people train, what I think works best. For an example, back in 79, uh, the, the suggested chest routine he has in here is um, Dumbbell fly supersetted with incline press with barbell or dumbbells for two cycles. So that means you do it twice. So that would be four total sets for chest. And he had you do that twice a week, which was Monday and Thursday. And then the routine he wrote for me, he has um, pec deck supersetted with incline press. So that's not much different. But you only did one this one time so that's two sets for chest now the big difference here is that this was done about every 20 days is what he recommended for me and Mike this is pretty much the routine he talked about in heavy duty 2 mind and body which he wrote in the mid 90s and uh, <clears throat> you know Mike felt even earlier he it was overtraining even his earlier suggestions uh, equaled overtraining. Now, like I said, I trained a couple of uh, times with Mike, and then I um, did this routine on my own for a few months. I really did try to put my all into it. But the truth is that while I got stronger on this routine, I really didn't get any bigger. Um, and a few other people I've talked to had a similar experience that increased in strength, but no increase, uh, no noticeable increase in size after months of training, no weight gained, no body weight gained. Um, now there were a couple of real hard gainers that said this worked for them, and that's great. You know, if it works for you, 
you should do it. Um, my own personal opinion is that what Mike was recommending in the 70s, which is maybe anywhere from anywhere from uh, three to five sets per body part, um, you know, one act, one or two to three exercises for one or two sets each, but no more, no more than maybe five or six sets per body part done twice a week, I think works the best. That's for my body. Um, the bottom line is you have to, you know, no one can tell you how many days a week to train, how many sets to do. You still have to test with your own body and find out what works best for you, how often to train each body part. My suggestions are to start out with uh, training each body part twice a week. Uh, that seems to work best for most people. Once a week seems not enough. Um, three times a week seems too much. Arnold and Lou and everybody did three times a week. But for most natural guys, that seems to be too much. Um, like I said, you have to test to see what works best for you. Um, another point um, about Mike Menser is he thought very much in... Um, black and white it's either right or it's wrong it's all or it's nothing and uh, he suggested training a failure all the time um, but the truth is he didn't train that way when he did train he trained all out and but sometimes he would take months without training uh, all through his bodybuilding career and uh, the truth is if you try to train all out all the time uh, you're either gonna get burned out injured or sick I've tried to do it I always ended up one of those three they're just totally exhausted hurt you know some type of small injury or ill you know your body's gonna make you take a layoff somewhere or another if you're just forcing it all the time truth is it's best to train all out for three to six weeks at most, then take a little time off, train a little bit less than all out, um, and then go back, you know, cycle your training back and forth like that seems to work best. Well, that's my thoughts on Mike Menser and heavy duty training. Um, be sure to subscribe to my video channel. Um, go to visit trulyhuge.com and also sign up for our free newsletter. And feel free to email me if you have any questions. Have a great day and uh, train hard.